Um, which whore are we talking about this time? Who the hell else would I be talking about? That fucking slut walked out on me. Me! I fucking made him! Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining- Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can just- He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Angel is living with Lucifer's daughter now? Yeah, that bitch Chalky or Chandler or I don't know, something mannish like that. She's got this hotel. <laughs> what are you doing, Val? You're not going over there. We're to God. Wow. <laughs> Think about it. Our brand is perfection. And what do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Uh, fuck it up? Right! Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? No. Exactly. And hey, you still have him under contract. He isn't going anywhere. So you should... Do nothing? Great idea! Now that's why they pay you the big bucks. I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, you know me too well. <laughs> Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princesa. Oh, who else is there? Someone who owes you money? The radio demon is there. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me. Alistair came back, and he is with Lucifer's daughter, and that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Hey, killing Alistair. Who is that? I'm gonna fucking kill this whole fucking family! Fox? Fox! That fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time? Uh, fuck you! Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now. <laughs> Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! discussing a certain has-been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven-year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewer is impossible. I'm visual. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations. Good to be back on the air. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinner for joy. What a dated voice. Instead of a clout-chasing, mediocre video podcast. Come on. Islam Secure, pursuing allure, living between this fat and that is nothing working. Ignore his chirping. Every day he's got a new format. You're looking at the future. He's the shit that comes before that. Is Vox as strong as he purports, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other V. Oh, please. And he is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. I said no, and now he's pissy. That's the tea. You all. Prick. I'll show you suffering. Uh-oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in. When I'm done, your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Fuck!